Recording in progress. Hello, welcome. We are Black Dream Escape. Thank you for attending today. We actually cannot see who is in the room with us. We appreciate whoever is here though. My name is Annika and I'm one of the co-creators of Black Dream Escape. And I'm Wendy Fire and I'm the other co-creator of Black Dream Escape. So you'll be with us for about two hours, maybe less. If there's more time, we are going to encourage you to nap all the way through to 7 p.m. This is a lullaby session, so we'll be singing. I'll also be guiding you through a meditation. And I hope you can just relax, enjoy the time. We're going to begin soon. And I'll follow up with some instructions for you before we begin our full process. But let us lead you into song, get settled into your space, into what you might need, and we will meet again soon. Mm -hmm. session and we like to come into our rest sessions with moisture of many different forms so I'd encourage you to grab a glass of water right now I would encourage you to find some lotion or shea butter and put it beside you I'd also encourage you to get a comfy blanket a pillow to lay down a notebook and pen just in case you have some thoughts that you'd like to write down and revisit later all those things are essential for the next, again, hour or two. And just things that will keep you settled where you are so you don't have to move. And this is the time now that Winston and I are going to begin the full session. So enjoy the music, enjoy the meditation. If you have any thoughts to share in the chat, please reserve those for later so you can have your full rest. And again, thank you for coming. My heart is heavy, can't catch my breath, my bones are aching. I need to rest So much in a day So much today So much in a day So much today Where are you going? Where are you going? To ease your mind To ease your mind Who are you seeing? Who are you seeing? So much in a day, so much. 
much today, so much in a day, so much today. To the meditation, I want to help you prepare your body through a body scan. And if you're not familiar with the concept of a body scan, it's just a metaphorical laser beam that you will scan from the top of your head down to your toes to address any stress points or tension in your body. So again, you can be fully prepared for the guided meditation coming up. And so now, if you haven't done so already I would like you to close your eyes and try to fit yourself in a comfortable position whether it's sitting up or lying down and as you close your eyes I'd like you to pop up an image of an orb of light or again a laser beam whatever color you would like and imagine it sitting at the top of your head and this orb of light or laser can be as big or small as you would like it to be. We are going to start at your temple and that beam of light or your laser beam is going to start to slowly go down from your temple to your nose all the way down to your chin to your neck and to your shoulders. And you're still Recognizing any stress points in these areas as the light beam goes down to your forearms. Recognizing your elbows going down to your hands. Addressing your stomach. There tends to be a lot of tension there, so you might have the light beam stay there for a while. Moving down to your hips. All the way to your thighs, down to your knees, down to your calves, down to your ankles, again addressing any tension that might exist, down to your feet, and ending at the tip of your toes. And if you notice any points of tension through that scan, we're going to do it once more just so we can address the tension, have it evaporate. So once again, you could be fully prepared for the session coming up. So bring the light beam back up to the top of your head. You can change the color. You can change the size of it, whatever you would like. I want you to keep your eyes closed and start once again at your temple, have the light beam come down to your nose, touching your chin, going all the way down to your neck, touching your shoulders, going down to your forearms, down to your stomach, addressing your pelvic area, any back pain, going all the way down to your thighs, your hips, down to your knees, through your calves, down to your ankles, through your feet, and stopping at the tip of your toes. That was a quick, thorough assessment of the stress points in your body. Hopefully, you address them all, and if not, you have a tool now that you can use throughout the meditation that's coming up and throughout the rest of your days, even after this session.
Now we're transitioning to the guided meditation. Remain relaxed. Now let's think about the tension we already addressed in your body. The tension you might be holding, that you've been holding on to. struggles. Now is the time to let it go. Your legs are free, heavy with the sensation of release, and you are prepared to let go. tension in your hips and core and notice the judgment that might come up about this area. Notice that thought and then let it pass. Fill your stomach which may hold grief, stress, nerves, let it dissolve into the floor beneath you. Release the residual tension in between your chest and your heart. Feel your heart start to relax. Feel your back give way. 
Feel the sides of your body loosen, feeling loose and free, almost floating. Notice your fingertips, tips that have lightly touched softness and pleasure. Recognize the palm of your hands, hands that have held on so tightly to whatever has served you. Release that tension. Feel the relaxation ripple through your veins. Travel to your wrists. Let your elbows drop to the floor. Feel the muscles in your upper arms, arms that have carried you and carried others. Embrace being loose and free. Mind your shoulders. Letting them melt into you. Leaning into the sense of calm. Settling into your most comfortable position. Mind your cheekbones and your jaw. Unclench your teeth and release the tension in your temples. Be mindful of your entire body. You are melting into the floor beneath you. Feel the sensation of the mat, or your bed, or your carpet, and the coolness of the room. Now that you are loose and movable, without bones or structure, let's build you up. Let's build you, black and rested, in the future, brown and rested, in the future. Starting with what you've been stripped of, what you have wanted for yourself, but cannot yet reach. What has oppression taught you that you cannot have? Even beyond your basic needs, which are of high value, what mentally has living in a white supremacist world prevented you from living, experiencing, or believing? What is the right way for you to be treated? 
what is the wrong way? You being dissected in every space, you being a certain someone for someone else, how do you need to be treated? Sift through these thoughts for a moment. to the standards you have for being treated appropriately in this world as your commandments. Your future black and or indigenous self knows these commandments and expects others to abide by them. And if you are aware of your commandments, they will inform the way in which you go about your future. to move about in this future portal that we're building, which is so bright and welcoming of you, with your commandments guiding you. And if being able to rest in the park without the cops being called is a commandment of yours, this is possible. If one of your commandments is that you will not perform for whiteness, this is possible. Take a few moments to consider how your commandments can show up in your present life. close by me, by my voice. Keep me close as we consider you. Discovering the deep parts of yourself means fully understanding how you operate. Let's take a minute to decipher between what is really you and what are your defenses quite possibly. The real you is not perfect. Someone who makes mistakes. A human being. And in your future Black and Indigenous self, you can be this person. Taking risks without severe punishment. Resting because you are not a machine. Crying because you are allowed and someone is there to hold you. Thank you.
your current presenting self. No judgment in the image of yourself and your head is blurry. Just try and see yourself doing your daily things, waking up, typing, eating. Imagine that you are looking at yourself doing these things. Maybe you're watching from the wall or you're sitting right next to yourself. Watch yourself get up in the morning, doing your thing, going about your day. Imagine yourself as you usually are. Now, imagine yourself, you, alone in a narrow alleyway. Watch yourself, pay attention. Think about letting all the factors that prevent you from living out your commandments. Imagine internalized lessons of productivity shutting off, replacing them with values of rest. Look at this person before you and think about all the injustice that gets in the way of our black and indigenous future selves. And see the concepts shedding, tearing away don't hold on to them for too long. They formed layers on your skin and let me help you scrape them off. And they move away. They are away. They're moving away. I am here with you doing this together and they continue to drop off going away and away Now see this person, a vulnerable you, standing in an open field. The alleyway has widened, plants have arrived, the air is sweeter. Who are you now? What is the future like? How are you resting? This is you. Hold your commandments close. By any means necessary, this is you. Your black and indigenous self in the future, having shed the things normally out of your control with a kind and considerate guide. Maybe this future self is still a little blurry. The image is not clear, but take a minute to fill in the details. Letting yourself get comfortable with the new parts of this identity. Think 
about why you are here. Are you tired? Do you want to go into your future tired? What about the things around you need to change? What about your environment must go and what must stay? Embrace this open field and embrace playing in it. Having all of your commandments acknowledged, having made it to this new black and indigenous future and as your future self, consider what you're like. Consider these questions. Do you speak your mind or do you write your mind? Do you give yourself time rejecting past limits? Are you feeling your internal self or your external self more? What does that even mean to you? Are you enjoying sleeping with someone by your side? Or do you like to sleep alone? Do you spend time looking for a new mattress? Or answering work emails, what do you actually prefer? giving yourself time to mourn? Have you accepted your physical and emotional limits? Is your blackness and your indigenous identity thriving and specific to you? Who do you love? someone who is loving you back. What do you prefer? Stability, adventure, or a bit of both? get quality sleep? And what do you like? Think about a time you felt like you could really breathe. When was that? Think about your connections, things you like to do with other people without obligations. Lean into those.
Consider the commandments required to be this person you are bringing into a black and indigenous future. Staying close to me in my voice, fully imagine this different version of yourself. Think about yourself as a young black child in a good moment. Who is this child? What makes them do the things that they do? Consider how you and this child are still similar. What do you all have in common? What are the differences between the two of you? If you were thinking about yourself as a child, be mindful of how you've changed. Consider some things. What kind of world did you think it would be before you learned about oppression? What did you want to do when you grew up? What hopes did you have for yourself? Your commitments are probably more connected to this child's view than what you first imagined. When you saw the world fresh, you saw your ideal future. I bet there was a point in your young life where black and future weren't complicated concepts. Possibly the people around you were in your future, living the way they intended to live you were smiling at some point. You were soft and free. You have already been your future. Think about if as a child you wanted to be a writer, then you are already creative, observant, astute, confident in your blackness and in your indigenous identity, willing to take your time. Let's imagine one final version of yourself. And as clearly as you can see, imagine your whole future self. 
imagine exactly how you want to be. How does this person face injustice? What are their commandments? How do they rest? How do they present themselves to the world? Imagine all the parts of this person coming together. Think about the environment they are in. What does it smell like? does it taste like? What is around? What can you see? Remember, the future self is you. This is you with autonomy over your body and personhood. This is who you are without influence from messages in the outside world, without others' expectations put on you. It's just you. It's the world you have created for yourself and the people you want around you. We have stripped oppression away from your body. Your skin is now shining, absorbing light and peace as it should be rested. This is all you. So, put them on, so to speak. Cinch this new skin and this new identity to your bones. Massage this new rhetoric and your commandments into your mind. Hold yourself close. Melt into this new environment. Find the textures you adore and hold them close. You are now black and rested, indigenous and rested in the future. Feel rest and calm. All of you, your future black self your future indigenous self. You can take this self along with you throughout today, throughout the rest of your life, knowing that this is who you've always been and thank spirit that you all finally met your inner child your present self and your future self they are all shining and they are all resting I've witnessed this whole experience with you so kind to these parts of yourself.
back so beautifully in this future. People are so good to you in this future. You are comforted, taken care of, just as your black and or indigenous self. Now you are all together, all of your parts, all of you, black and rested, indigenous and rested in the future. Keep your future self in mind as you shift from this guided meditation space to enjoying more melody. You can remain sleeping with your eyes closed. If you would like to awaken, tap your fingers on the ground, sending a message to the hands and arms to come back slowly, softly, Wiggle your toes, awaken your feet and legs, feel your muscles start to support you, come back to life, and energy washing over you. Slowly open your eyes and just sit, or keep them closed no obligations and we have no expectations for you other than remain rested when you've completely come to in the way you see fit focus on wind of fire and i as your guards keeping the cells that we have acknowledged as you go into melody, keep yourself close to your heart and remain rested.
now that we have slowly brought you back into this space we are going to close with our last melody and i have a few words after that to guide you into your afternoon nap or your reflection and hopefully you have come into yourself in this hour and we appreciate us being able to witness that in you. Please give gratitude to yourself for in just doing this, for giving yourself rest, for allowing yourself to just be, and for accepting us as your rest guides for today. For the rest of the time that you have set out for this session, once again, please do not rush to your next event or your next duty instead nap reflect get out the notebook and pen that you set aside in the beginning and write voice memo whatever you need to do to remain in the space and treasure it i encourage you to do just that again my name is annika and i'm in the pie thank you for doing this for yourself and allowing us to be here with you. Couldn't give enough gratitude. I uh, thank University of Pittsburgh, Yuan, Sueño, everybody that brought us here today. If you would like to know more about us, you can check out our website, blackdreamescape.com. Thank you once again. Please have a pleasant evening. And if you liked all of our songs, please be on the lookout for our upcoming album with all of our meditations and our songs from the last couple of years. Peace. Again, thank you. Thank you. <laughs>